I'm in Shaoxing. Where are you? Hi there, my name is John. I've been in China since 2013. I'm an American and I'm teaching English here at U.S. Show Foreign Language University. I love teaching. I love traveling, I love China. In fact, I consider myself to be Xiaoxing's son-in-law. That's right. And actually, um, as I mentioned before, my wife and son were born here, and we decided to have a try. Uh, previously, we were, we were living in the U.S. with my wife, and uh, we moved here, and my son was born here. And the uh, U.S. show, particularly, my wife's uncle actually works in the school. So it was good to be near family here. Good morning, class. How are you today? Good morning. Good morning. All right, good to see your bright, shining faces this morning. I hope you had a good evening. Yes. All right, very good. Let's turn to our books. Today we're going to study the pros and cons of different professions. Let's take a look. And uh, I enjoy it. I think I love the interaction between the students and myself. I like to share a lot of my life experiences, and obviously I teach oral English, so I'm able to share uh, some of my expertise with the students. Uh, this is Patterner,美国牛仔呢,这是一个非常谦逊的这么一个美国大男孩,那么他因为到绍兴来之后也一直都在很努力的在教学,他对学生是一个比较负责的这么一个老师,怎么说呢,应该说是他为学生创造了一
Yeah. Yeah. Shaoxing okay, Opera yeah. really surprised me. Hey, I had the opportunity to visit their museum, and I learned about Shaoxing Opera history. Oh, oh <laughs> where? It's me. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> Very young. <laughs> young Shuai. <laughs> I also had the opportunity to transform into one of the many characters found in Shaoxing Opera, complete with costume, beard, and makeup. <laughs> it's very cool. It looks really nice. Really like it. I must say, after this experience, I have great respect for the actors. It's been quite an experience. Um, a little bit uh, tight, the suit. But it's great. It's it's really nice to experience authentic um, opera. Maybe I'll go to the theater and enjoy traditional Chinese opera more often in the future. Yes. Well, at first, yes, I missed home a lot, of course. I was homesick, lonely sometimes. But gradually, as I started making friends here, it, the homesickness got a little bit smaller and smaller. So I'm grateful for the friends I made here. And um, yes, the food as well, I had to get adjusted to food. The food back home was a little bit different, so I had to get adjusted to that. But because there's so much delicious Chinese food here, that was not so difficult to do. <laughs> yeah, my band was formed in 2017, and uh, it was formed because uh, there was a local a bar that needed musicians to play. So I decided to form a band. And it was mostly at first foreigners from this school, from countries like Italy, Netherlands, Canada, Japan, and even uh, South America, and myself, of course. And we play all kinds of music. We play indie, rock, pop, all types of um, reggae, all types of music. And we love to play in the area, the Shaoxing area, anywhere where people will invite us. We've been involved with the music scene since about 2017, so I'm really proud of, of our band. Let me introduce you to some of the band members. First of all, we have from Spain, Manu. He's our lead singer. Next, we have Sonyubi. He usually plays bass and guitar. And then we have way in the back, T, keeping it real on the drums. All right, hope you enjoy it. long term, I would like to set up a business, perhaps an educational school. I really want to invest in my wife's hometown. I think that if we could do some positive...